So let's discuss the GI drugs, gastrointestinal drugs. In the gastrointestinal drugs, we have antimicrobial agents. In the antimicrobial agents, we have amoxicillin, amoxicillin, that is penicillin antibiotic. Then we have bismuth compounds, bismuth compounds, we have clarithromycin, which is macrolide antibiotic. Then we have metronidazole, the most used drug in the GIE conditions. And then the tetracyclines, tetracyclines. And then we have histamine H2 receptor blockers, which are TDNs, which are TDNs. And the TDNs we have semitidine, we have semitidine, we have famotidine, we have nizatidine, we have renatidine. Right, these are the histamine H2 receptor blockers and are the proton pump inhibitors and the proton pump inhibitors which are prazoles, which are prazoles, prazoles. And the prazoles we have dexlansoprazole, dexlansoprazole, isomeprazole, lansoprazole, omeprazole, pantoprazole and rabiprazole. Then we have prostaglandins. Prostaglandins, which are mesoprostol, mesoprostol. Then is the antimuscarinic agents, and in the antimuscarinic agents we have dicyclamine, dicyclamine, and the antacids. In the antacids we have aluminium hydroxide, calcium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, and sodium bicarbonate. So these are the antacids. Then we have mucosal protective agents, and the most mucosal protective agents we have bismuth subsalicylate. Bismuth subsalicylate and sucralfate. Sucralfate. So these were the agents, and you see that here, like the histamine H2 receptor blockers, uh, proton pump inhibitors, prostaglandins, antimuscarinic agents, antacids, and mucosal protective agents, all are used for peptic ulcer or ulcerative ulcerative conditions of the GIT. Then we come to the antiemetics, and in the antiemetics we have uh, most importantly for the MSS related to chemotherapy and we have phenothiazines and in the phenothiazines we have prochlorpyrazine prochlorpyrazine and then we have 5 hydroxytryptamine 3 serotonin receptor 5 HD3 serotonin receptor blockers and we have in that citrons citrons and the citrons we have dola citron granny citron on dan citron and pal ono citron pal ono citron okay then we have substituted benzamides and in the substituted benzamides we have metoclopramide 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 and then we have butyrophenones in the butyrophenones we have peridols we have peridols peridols and in the peridols we have droperidol and haloperidol droperidol and haloperidol and we may also use benzodiazepines and in the benzodiazepine we have alprazolam and lorazepam and corticosteroids the corticosteroids we have dexamethasone and we have methylprednisolone methylprednisolones and then the substance p are neurokinin 1 receptor blocker and that is a pre a pre p tant a pre p tant right and then the drugs that are used to treat diarrhea and these are the anti-motility agents in the anti-motility agents we use a combination of diphenoxylate and atropine that is available in, as lomotel and then we have lopramide lopramide these are the anti-motility agents and the adsorbents can also be used in the adsorbent we have aluminium hydroxide and methyl cellulose then comes the agents that modify fluid and electrolyte transport and in that we have bismuth subsalicylate bismuth subsalicylate and then the drugs used to treat constipation and in the constipation we have irritants and stimulants which are bisacodyl bisacodyl castor oil and cena right these are the botanical products castor oil and cena right and then the bulk laxatives we have methyl cellulose and Silium, silium, right? P is silent here. Silium, and then saline and osmotic laxatives. In the saline and osmotic laxatives, we have magnesium citrate, magnesium hydroxide, polyethylene glycol, and lactulose. And the stool softeners, we have docusate, 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 and the lubricant laxatives are glycerin suppositories and mineral oil. 
glycerin suppositories and mineral oil while chloride channel activators are luby luby prostone so these are the drugs that are used in the gi conditions